called a sick day. Amos Mickey. And what is this? I can't see the book. What is that, Everett? An elephant. And what is this? Penguin. And this is Amos Mickey. His name is Amos. And this is by Philip Stead. He wrote it. Amos McGee was an early riser. Every morning when the alarm clock changed, he swung his legs out of bed and swapped his pajamas for a fresh pressed uniform. He would wind his watch and set a pot of tea to boil, saying to the sugar bowl, a spoonful for my oatmeal, please, and two for my teacup. Belly full and ready for the wonderful workday, he ambled out the door. Next day, I'm sorry, every day, Amos waited for the number five bus. Can you remember this on the five, on number five on the bus? It will become important later. Next stop, City Zoo, the bus driver would call, 6 a.m. and right on time. Amos had a lot to do at the zoo, but he always made time to visit his good friends. <gasps> he's playing chess with an elephant. Yeah, he's playing chess with the elephant. And he'd run races with the tortoise, and he would always let the tortoise win. Very good elephant. He'd sit quietly with the penguins, and he'd lend a handkerchief to the rhinoceros. Now, why would he lend a handkerchief to a rhinoceros? Because the rhinoceros always had a runny nose. And at sunset, he'd read stories to the owl because the owl was afraid of the dark. One day, Amos woke up with the sniffles and the sneezes and the chills. He swung his achy legs out of bed, curled them back again, and said, Ugh, I don't want to go to work today. Meanwhile, at the zoo, the animals waited for their friend. The elephant arranged his pawns and polished his castle. Yeah. The tortoise stretched his legs for the race. The rhinoceros worried that his allergies were getting worse and he didn't have any tissue. But they all had the same question. Where is Amos? So guess what? They're leaving the zoo. Where are they going? They're going to find Amos. And so here they are waiting at the bus stop. If you were driving that bus, what would you think if you drove up and this is what was going to get on the bus? And get on the right bus. They're on the number five, just like Amos. They're on the number five. Hooray! My good friends are here, says Amos. So he has all these animals come into his house. So the elephant prepared a game of chess. Amos thought and thought before making his moves. I'm too tired to run races today, said Amos to the tortoise. Let's play hide and seek instead. Amos yawned. I could use a nap. So the penguin sat quietly with Amos, just like Amos used to sit with him. <gasps> Shoo! Amos awoke with a sneeze, and the rhinoceros handed him a tissue. I'm beginning to feel much better, thank you, said Amos to his friends. He swung his legs out of bed. Perhaps we'll share a pot of tea. Amos wound his alarm clock. It's getting late. After all, we have a morning bus to catch. So he said goodnight to all of his friends. And there they are, all in Amos's, around and under, and over Amos's bed, all going to sleep. Isn't that a nice story?